Just wanted to show you guys the river. Hey guys, welcome back to the boating storybook work truck. We are <clears throat> at the Niagara River, you can see it behind me. Um, we had some heavy winds uh, running the length of the lake from west to east and uh, it pushed all the ice over the ice boom and it's flowing right now, right down the Niagara River. Um, but anyway, I know it's been a minute, the reason we're here is because we are going to start working on the boat um, and uh, I haven't done anything yet. I got into it a little bit over the last couple of days and just kind of opened the boat up and laid some tarps down. Park. I uh, just wanted to show you guys kind of what we're getting into. I got some problems to solve so some of the things I'm going to show you today may or may not happen. So I'm going to take you guys in with me uh, and show you some of the projects we're going to get into. Uh, maybe you guys can help out. I got some questions and maybe somebody out there in YouTube land land me a comment and give me some advice and tell me what I'm doing wrong. But I'm going to try to go over some of the projects we're working on. And of course we have to wax and clean the boat. And I'll be filming on the, uh, the Sony A5100. It does pretty good in low light, which we need. It's going to be really low light in here. Uh, and I'm going to turn. So there's a few different things that I wanted to make some short videos about for you. First, the steering, it has some play in it right now. It's completely disconnected because I did get into that and started pulling it apart a little bit. Uh, but I, I haven't been satisfied with the amount of play that's in the steering wheel. So uh, that's one thing we're going to be working on. And it's a Teleflex uh, system that uh, has power steering. So there's a hydraulic cylinder in the back. So anyway, uh, that is one thing. So I wanted to start working on that. We got about halfway through that project and we discovered that uh, the engine hatch isn't going to go up and down anymore is what we we kind of we kind of figured out so um, let's see if everything's out of the way and this is a Rinker 342 and we call this engine hatch the bone crusher because if you put anything in the way so the problem we've been getting is the engine hatch will go down easy you can hear it but it doesn't want to go up. Oh my, I just made a liar out of me. That's been really, there it goes, now it won't go up. So the way you get it to go up is you kind of get it moving, right? Bump it down and then back up and then it'll go. I got a new switch. So I'm gonna show you how to replace this little switch today uh, and see if it works more consistently. You know, let's... These are carling switches. So, oh, there's all all different and this thing's working flawlessly this is driving me nuts like there now it's failing there it goes but sometimes it'll it'll fail and you won't it won't work at all so anyway we're gonna see if this new switch uh, does it these are carling switches they come in all different configurations this one uh, the number that we seem to need to, to look it up online was the VLD1 and I bought this from Great Lakes Skipper this is a replacement of that very same one VLD1 it's it's not written the same way on there but it says VLD1 I don't know if you can see that um, and we're gonna we're gonna put this switch in and it's pretty easy so you, you get them up above your dash here is the easiest way pulling them down seems harder uh, because of all the wires down there so I always pull them up and then there's one little clip on the back side and all you got to do you won't be able to see this from where you're at is pull this little tab back a 
while you pull up on the switch. There you go. And wiggle it off. It's really hard to pull off, but it will go. I think I got it. You know, I don't want to break anything. I'm always trying to be really gentle. There we go. So that's how they come off of there. And this little, what you couldn't see at the angle you were at, was this little flap here had a, a barbed hook sticking up above it. You see that? So I had to pull this back and it's it's pretty belligerent. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is switch the the rocker top on the switch. It's called a rocker switch. And very carefully, it's just on a couple of little pins in here and if you just pop one side at a time, they do come off. And uh, you just want to be gentle. There you go, that was one side. Pretty easy. We'll do the other side. Usually a little screwdriver or boink, there we go. And the switch can only go in one way because there's a, a lineup pin and uh, these aren't spaced, these are not spaced symmetrically. But we're gonna reuse this, this, this switch uh, this new switch was $7.99, and with the top, it was like $26, so we opted to uh, not use it now. Let's just double check and make sure it does line up, because this is live. I have not tried this yet. There we go. It looks like it's going to go right in, and uh, that's it. The little barbed hook is in, and that's it. The new switch is in. Uh, and now I have to put the top on it. And all you do is press that on. Boink, that's it. Oh, let's see though. I mean, let's see if it. Wow, that's way better. It would have skipped out on us by now. I think we did it. The rest of the job would be just to shove this switch down in and it's got a little barbed system and it simply just pushes in. Um, maybe be careful. There it went. Just went right in. So I was able to kind of pull on the wires. One of the things that I always do before I finally put this dash back together is I go and I check all of my wires and I'm pretty familiar with them by now because I've had this apart a lot, but look at all those wires. And there's 10 times more down there. Um, so, but I've gone over them many times and made sure there's no corrosion and, and things. It's something that you, with a boat, you gotta get familiar with your boat because things are going to kind of foul up on you out there and you really kind of need to know how to work it. Unfortunately, nobody can afford to have a mechanic with them all the time. So you kind of have to be one. And well, if you guys have a, a boat with these Carling rocker switches in them, which I think a bunch of them do, one last check before we go all the way down. Maybe this will help you out. There we go. You can do it yourself on your boat if you need to. If you have something that's intermittently working and not working, that is, that's the worst. That's it for now at the boating storybook.